Hey friends, Jeff here with RV Optimizer. And if you subscribe to my channel, and I hope you do, uh, you know I'm always on the hunt for the latest models of RVs uh, with unique floor plans when we can find them. And today I think I did just that. Uh, this new model from Coachman called the Euro. I can't wait to show this thing to you. So let's go find us an expert who can tell us all the things we should know. Okay, so I found our subject matter expert, T. Introduce yourself and tell everybody where we are and what we're gonna do here. Welcome guys, uh, my name is T Cunningham. I'm here at National Indoor RV Center in beautiful Surprise, Arizona. Uh, we're inside of our showroom today and uh, yeah, we've uh, found this Coachman Euro that we're gonna talk about today. Uh, very excited, new body style, convenient floor plan and uh, some really cool options for you on the road. So let's get after really? it. So this has kind of been influenced by European models and, uh, and I think they have some pretty cool floor plans over there. So we're gonna just hit on the outside real quick. We'll jump inside and then hang with us guys because we're gonna talk about pricing and how you can get more information on this at the end. So let's get going. Okay, T, give us a little idea about the dimensions of this because I know it's an A class, but it's not a big A class, right? Right, yeah, so this is gonna be super convenient uh, for a lot of people looking for a small RV that's convenient. Uh, we're talking about a 178 inch wheelbase. Uh, you're actually under 28 feet bumper to bumper coming in at 27.9. This is on the 7.3 liter uh, V8 with your four chassis. Um, 16,000 pounds gross for the chassis. This leaves you with very little gross combined carrying capacity as it has a very large 8K uh, tow rating. Um, so as you walk around, you'll note not a lot of compartment space for exterior storage, uh, but you have all the action on the inside, allowing you to stay small on the road and convenient in all your parking lots and all of your RV spots. Yeah, I have a B plus, I guess, on the Mercedes chassis, and this thing's only a couple feet longer than that. So uh, pretty compact and I think probably, I I'm guessing, fairly easy to maneuver and drive around. Yeah, coming in with that short wheelbase again, it's going to be a lot easier to maneuver and almost very similar, Jeff, than those uh, smaller RVs. But we're talking about an 80 gallon fuel tank on this thing. Um, and then coming in with the fresh gray and black combinations for everybody, 50 gallons for fresh, 32 gray and 31 black. Um, yeah, let's tackle the inside when you're ready. All right, coming on inside here. All right. Some of the uh, chassis features we can talk about here. So immediately to the right here, um, you're going to have your aux start, which is going to be a nice little uh, uh, jump simulation, depending on if your house or your chassis batteries are low. So it's kind of a dual start for yourself. So you're actually going to be in combination of your aux start and gen start if you're ever too low. But Jeff, this thing has 300 watts of solar. So as long as you keep her in the sunshine, I wouldn't be too worried about the house batteries. Um, fog lights, radio, map light, hood lights, a lot of good things for convenience here in the cab. Nice big infotainment here for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We're right here sitting in that chassis. You got your actually low hanging mirrors, which is actually super helpful, notifying any blind spots and curb clearance. Um, and obviously coming with the uh, EQ stabilizer here for your um, hydraulic leveling jacks here. It's very nice. Short and it looks like you got a rollout desk over here for your passenger. Yeah, look at this. So when you're on the road, you got your computer tray that comes out right here. Uh, USB and a 12 volt rate adapter right here for you guys. The new V8's known as the Godzilla motor. Um, so I will say, uh, if you've never seen one or if you haven't driven one, they are pretty loud in the cab. Um, so it'd be a really good way to come out and come see us or at least familiarize yourself with the F53 on the V8. So moving back a little bit, so. Yeah, so convenient mutual space here. I always like opposing seating. So whether or not you're hanging out with family and friends, uh, catching a drink, catching the game, playing some cards, uh, you've got a nice uh, smart TV there above you. Um, so this is going to be your bedding, Jeff. So you're actually going to have a futon fold here in the house. So I'm 6'4", pretty skinny. I fit <laughs> all right. Fold that back up. There you are. Nice. And then into the kitchen here. Very residential-like. I mean, I feel like I'm in a nice uh, Scottsdale home about to cook up a meal. Uh, we got our build sheet and some coachman information here. And we'll go over the pricing, Jeff, in a few. Yep. But residential amenities here. I got my nice sink here, one piece farm sink, lots of storage in the cabinets here for getting food and preparations going. Good 110 pop up here. That's going to be off of our 1.2 uh, kilowatt inverter. And then a lot of your soft closing cabinet drawers coming out here, all the remotes and all the fun stuff on the road. That's and I like that one under the sink because it's all your like trash cans and stuff it looks yeah, like. Yeah, look at this hidden compartment here. It comes out yeah. all nice and That's... sloped. 
um, a, a place for obviously uh, doing some cleaning or obviously two garbage disposals. I don't know if anyone recycles on the road, but you got two of them here so you can use those. Nice. Coming in here, you got your nice famous uh, induction cooktop here, two burner. I actually love this stainless uh, vent overhead here, so it feels very homey. And then below, you got your microwave here. And then one last storage for some pots and pans for your cooking. Yeah, a lot of storage. 28 foot motorhome, but I don't know if anyone uses these, Jeff, but you got one, so let us let us know what you think. Yeah, no, I, I think one of the reasons I understood that a lot of manufacturers starting to think about putting dishwashers in now because it actually uses less water to clean. So a little bit more efficient when you're on the road. Or, That's right. And it's huge fridge. Residential, my friend, look at this. That's nice. And then some freezer with the drawers. So here's your top drawer. Another compartment here for you. Nice. Yeah, here on the point of entry, um, so you have a nice uh, armless drawer on that will go out. So you have your controls here for the awning in and out operation. Um, your light and obviously closing and then here is going to be your Xantrax um, inverter communication panel so this is going to let you know what you're charging what your amp hours are coming in at so a really good piece to keep a hold of and know especially if you're off of shore power Jeff and then here with your uh, coachman communication panel you're gonna have a battery monitor black gray black gray and LP um, and then obviously you make sure you have a full fresh tank when you leave water pump switch very easy gen start with indicating light uh, so we have just a little bit of hours here as she's brand new here at national indoor and then your uh, tv radio while you're going down the road and then uh, as soon as you have your ignition key in jeff i can do my slide operation with that nice big king bed only kicker is you just have to fold that mattress on the end there to collapse and bring that slide in on the retract um, and then down below here you have a very strong 30,000 uh, furnace here on board with two 13.5 um, acs by ge um, and then here's going to be your uh, temperature mode fan operating all of your HVAC right here, either off of shore power or um, generator here with the 5.5 ONA. Okay. Nice. Uh, hanging space here, um, and then maybe some overflow from kitchen yeah. uh, for pantry, and then more hanging space here right above our dishwasher. Like I said, we got a king bed in here, so if you're tall like me, I think you fit all right. And then some nice overheads here. We'll check those out real quick. Yeah. Nice path pass through accessibility here. And it looks like you have your heating and air control here. Uh, yes, yeah, so you have another. So this is for your zone for the bedroom here, Jeff, and then also your uh, water heater that's going to be uh, by Furion, and this is going to be how you're going to operate the furnace and heat your hot water in the coach. But we're European out here, so frameless windows. Got your emergency exit here, nice privacy going down here in the bedroom. Nice and nice and clean look. So. Yeah, I actually like that square look. That, I think that looks nice. Last but not least, the bathroom in here. Shower looks a little short, but ah, you got it. I mean, they always say uh, some elbow room. Nice little handheld here. And the skylight helps. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Adding add some inches there, but. So as you're coming in, Jeff, you'll note that the king bed is a little oversized for the space. So as you get about here to the wall, we're going to stop real fast and we're actually going to do a little flip here for the mattress. And we're going to continue on the way in. This is going to allow that very spacious bed actually to collapse in a very small coach. So like I said, you get a lot of good residential amenities in a very short floor plan that's going to be convenient going on the road. Um, so as we come here to the halt, you'll be able to see what the bedroom actually looks like going down the road I mean, it's not super convenient like a full-size bed but be a nice little cuddle cuddle space there for the dog or for someone to want to take a nap while going down the road all right T so man thank you for taking us through this I gotta say I think coachman's done a fairly nice job you know emulating some of the European style and put it into a product that we can get in the States and the other thing I like is like where you're standing there's there's no push outs I mean it still feels very roomy without having that. The only push out is uh, for the bed in the back. What is MSRP and what are you guys selling this unit for? Of course, Jeff, always the, always the first or second uh, question when you're shopping for motorhomes. So I wanted to show the, the audience the uh, build sheet here. Um, so this is a coach that is available here at National Indoor RV Centers. Um, I believe the uh, online stock number is 11484 if you're searching for. So, um, so we have a pretty good average suggested retail price of 220 651. But I will tell you here at NRVC, uh, we're not going to be beat on price. Uh, we offer a great Blue Bow experience and a great 
um, entry point into the RV industry. Um, right now, currently, this coach is available on our website uh, for $139,800. Um, so come on down. Uh, if you want to feel like a test drive before you uh, sit down and talk numbers, uh, we're very easy here. Uh, we love doing your business. I think that's a lot of a lot of RV for the money in comparison to what other RV options are Correct. for us today, right? So my last question for you, T, is uh, if uh, people want to get in touch with you, uh, email or phone number you'd share? Oh, of course. Uh, yeah. So I'll uh, riddle off my email. First name, last name, T Cunningham. Um, email handle nirvc.com. Um, or you can reach me directly here at the office at 520-231-5900. Um, or just hit up Renee at the reception desk. Everyone here is friendly, so we'd love to see everybody out here. Um, and how about we step into a Euro this summer, all right? Let's yeah. get after it. Yeah, thanks, Keith.